Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got some amazing colours out at the moment, some turquoises, some bright blue. Um, so I've decided to do some blooms um, on a long canvas with some cell activator. Um, the colours are just amazing. So I think that's going to just be the real key feature to this painting. So I'm really excited to get pouring. So let me show you the colours I'm using. These are the colours I'm going to use. So I've got Amsterdam Greenish Blue, Amsterdam Primary Cyan, Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Blue Green, uh, Pebio Prussian Blue, Pebio Silver, and then Amsterdam White. So all of these colours and the white are mixed with Flood Fluoritrol and water. And then in this little pot, I've got some Cell Activator. So that's Amsterdam White again, but that's mixed with Australian Fluoritrol. So I'll put the recipe for all of these mixtures in the description below. I'm using a 20 by 50 centimetre canvas. I've reused this canvas, so I've already uh, primed it. So I'm going to put some white down, white base. And then I'm going to put a hint of silver with it just to create a slight vary, a variegate, variegated base. So a slight variation within the base. Um, I'm going to blow that out with the hairdryer. So I'm getting the variation, but it's not enough. So I think I will just cover it in white first and then I'll put the silver on. Right, I'm going to add some silver now, I think. Right, I think that's perfect. It's just really subtle, but you've just got just some hints of silver, um, some really pretty little cells. I'm hoping you can see that. Just a little bit of variation, just so it's not totally flat. So I've decided to actually leave out the Prussian blue because I think um, the two colours are just too dark. So there's the, the um, greenish blue and the Prussian blue, they're both very, very dark colours. So I'm going to leave that out. So I've just got the iridescent green, blue green, the primary cyan and the um, the dark turquoise, the greenish blue. So um, I've not really thought ahead of what I'm actually going to do here, um, whether I should just do a few sort of random flowers or do a kind of a pattern of flowers. Um, I think I'm just going to do a bit of a, a zigzag, I think. So I'm just going to put a few puddles down. So I'm just starting first of all with the deep, deep turquoise. Right, I'm next going to put the turquoise down, so just a drop on top. And then the primary cyan. Right, and then my cell activator, I've just given it a really good shake. You must shake it because it separates when it's left to stand. So now just a spot of cell activator in the centre. Right, 
Right, and then I'm going to blow on each of them. So the lacing and the colours here is gorgeous, but it's really apparent that I've got it in such a regimented order it's and it's not even. I've got a bigger white gap this side, <clears throat> excuse me, to this side, so I need to do more. So I'm going to just put some more colour down, some more puddles down. So now we'll do some that will actually blow over the edges. Right, that is so pretty now, so much better. So I've still got a couple of gaps, but I'm gonna try, instead of adding more paint, I think I'm just gonna try and blow around with what I've already got to um, fill in those spaces a little bit. Right, the final thing I'm going to do is, I think, just do some little twiddly bits in between the flowers and it will just hopefully help them all to come together. I'm going to do some little kind of indentations where I think the petals would be, just to make it look a little bit more flower-like, bloom-like. Right, I am really happy. Let me show you up close. So what makes this for me is the colours. That turquoise and that, they're just so bright. The dark, the light turquoise and then the, the primary cyan, they are absolutely beautiful colours together. So the cell activator creates the most amazing cells and lacing. You can see there you've got the silver sparkling away in the base. Um, and I'm really pleased with that because it's not it's not everywhere. It's just it's quite subtle. It just is just threading through with the silver. So I've done a few little twirly bits. Also, what I loved I, when I made when I pulled the paint through to create the petals, I didn't wipe the stick each time. So I've got a little line. So everywhere, like here, there's little lines. Uh, just there, there's a little line in the paint. So it almost looks like a little bud. I think. Um, sticking out between the petals. I think this has to be my new favourite colour scheme. I think I say that a lot, but um, it is so pretty. Wow, I can't wait for this to dry. I 
I'm so happy with this painting. It's such a happy painting. It's just bright and colourful. And the turquoise, I just think it's just, it's just such a bright, fun, happy colour. Um, I'm really happy with the balance of the white versus all the colour versus all the petals, the flowers. Um, really happy with the silver that's just dotted around in the background. Um, I love all the lacing. The lacing is just incredible. Um, it's just such an interesting painting, I think, on this shaped canvas, on the long canvas. So you could hang this landscape, portrait, um, anywhere you want to, really. Um, I always tend to find that blues work really well with cell activator. You just, for some reason, I just seem to get some really, really beautiful lacing and cells when I use the cell activator. Um, with the blue, sorry. Um, so there it is. Please let me know what you think. Please do leave me comments. If you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.